Well, hello, everybody. Welcome back to Reality Is, where words do come to life. Well, look, September 4th is fast approaching. And as we know, a lot of individuals have been out of work for almost two years. And family members have really been dependent upon the extra $300 for unemployment. The big Hoorah is that our Senate um, and some of the other um, institutions think that people don't want to go to work. And so they have decided that September the 4th should be the day that you cut off the extra $300. So here is my concern. Here is my, how would you call it, my disappointment when it comes down to those who are supposed to represent the voice of the people. Uh, clearly, the Senate, some of the Democrats, Congress, however you want to call them, House, don't represent the voice of the people. You represent your own voice. Because here is my point. You don't miss a dime. If you sick, you don't miss a dime. If you leave office, you don't have to fill out for unemployment. You get to take your little money and go right along with you. But yet and still, you want to put certain people in buckets that people don't want to work. Let me tell you what people are tired of. People are tired of being underpaid and overworked. That's what people are tired of. People are tired of being cheated. People are tired of being lied to. People are tired of, tired of companies, CEOs expecting them to work their asses off for little no money. People are tired of this government who sits back. You raise your salary. You make sure you have benefits. And then you want to spoon feed us the bull crap y'all want us to have. And not considering that the money that you're providing for every two weeks, is it really a lot of money? No, it's not. And the flip side to that, for me, and I'm sure for others, we will take care of people outside of these United States. We will give them millions and trillions and billions of dollars. Give it to them. With no complaints, no fuss, no nothing whatsoever. But when it comes down to the people that live and reside in this country, those are the people that you all shit on the most. You shit on those veterans who leave with depression, post-traumatic depression, who have lost limbs, um, who are unable to work, and they're struggling because they're still traumatized for the things that they seen. You don't even make sure that they're covered and they fought for the country. But yet and still, you all sit here and make these damn decisions of what people should get and what they should not get. Y'all blow more money than anybody I know. But I'm telling you, the ink don't dry on the paper that quick before you get your own self a raise. And for me, and I don't know if it's for anybody else, my philosophy is if you get your ass out of office, then you should go through the unemployment process like everybody else. That means your job is up, right? It's gone. That means security detail should be taken away. That means our tax dollar should not provide y'all with nothing. Do you the same way y'all do us? You want to feed us crumbs. You want to feed us crumbs. And then you want to sit up here and tell it, well, a lot of y'all don't want to work. No, people are tired of being stuck up with their eyes open. Y'all vie for these seats for a purpose. For some security for you and your family. For the perks. We had a dumb president that got into that seat and draw his whole family in for the perks and the privileges. And didn't benefit nobody in this country at all. Except for the ones who liked him. But what do we get out of it? See, y'all make the decision and we get the price. We get the bill for the decisions you make. You bring everybody over here from other countries. You want to feed them. You want to clothe them. And then we have homeless people here that's living on the streets. Help that make sense to me. 
Help it. Makes sense to me. Then y'all want to sit up in these chambers and have arguments like kids in the damn playground. And it's not about you. It's about the people. So you forgot the purpose of your seat and you forgot the reason why the person put you in that seat. It's not your seat. You are our employees, all of y'all. And we are the employers. And if you can't make sure that we as constituents are take care, don't care your ass to Afghanistan, don't care your ass to no other country till you clean up these United States. You bring these individuals over here. You cut off our unemployment. We have to struggle to make pharmacy payments to get medication. We don't have no medical. We got to take the check and stretch it as far as we can. And then if you take the $300, $800 is not any money. Every two weeks. How would you like to survive off of $800 damn dollars every two weeks? You wouldn't be able to do it. And you would not want to do it. See, when y'all walk out of office, you walk out of office with a check, an ongoing check that has not been decreased, has not been minimized. So why do you all feel the need to decrease and minimize what we need? Every household is different. Is there some that don't want to work? Yes. Is it the majority? No, it's not. People are tired of being mistreated and misused and you all don't seem to care about it and then you talk about crime you do that guess what you're going to do you're going to force people to do what they have to do to survive crime is going up robbery is going up carjacking is going up and then you all will be the accountable person because of those situations so you don't think about none of this Y'all sit in these fancy chambers with your little seven hundred and twelve hundred dollars suits and dresses on, and then you want to nickel and dime us all the way, every step of the way. You want to nickel and dime us, but you want to go over to Afghanistan, bring people over here to protect them, and you don't protect people that live on this soil. We should not have a homeless person on the street, nowhere to be found. Nowhere. We should not have kids that's being abused and misused. There's sex trafficking going on. You have the system that you put those individuals in adoption system out at the age of 18. You don't have no plan. So then the smart people that sit in those offices, you put them out at the age of 18. What do you think they're finna do? They're going into survival mode. But y'all so bright. You're so bright. You have all the answers and, and you know, you, you, you cross the lines on the T's and you dotted the I's and you haven't dotted nothing. You created a bigger mess than what it was. Why do veterans come out of out of out of serving their country and they have to live on the street? They're sitting out there wheelchair with legs amputated and a cup. But you're talking about these out of the United States of America. What part of America is united? Explain that to me. Because there's a set of rules for white people and there's a set of rules for the black and brown. Certain neighborhoods you don't want us in. But yet and still, y'all get y'all asses on the beat and you want this color. I'm not understanding. One set of rules work with a certain set of people and the other set of rules don't work for nobody. But yet and still, y'all put the pen to the paper. Y'all make all these rules and regulations. And you disregard the people needs for selfish needs because you you got people lobbying for certain things and to hell with our needs and wants, how we should survive. Y'all don't care about that. It's all about what you think is best. Do you know the conditions of every family? You don't. And again, there are some individuals who don't work. But let me tell you something. That little $1,100 don't mean a hill of beans. Hell, rent is $1,100. What you going to do for a cardinal? What you going to do for groceries? Now, children are back in school. So that little money y'all giving ain't no money. Now you're going to take the extra $300 and you're back to $800. How are you supposed to survive off that? That ain't no money. But yet and still, <laughs> your checks have not been touched. Your family members eat well. They go to school. They survive. They shop. They drive in fancy cars. They're living, laying in warm beds and their needs are being met. They, they ain't want, y'all ain't want for nothing. But off of us, you want to live better and you want us to live less. How does that make sense? 
So you all think COVID don't have a purpose. You know why COVID have a purpose? Because y'all been lying, manipulating, stealing, and cheating people. And God is tired of it. And until y'all get y'all asses right, we're going to stay in this. Delta variant, everything else variant is coming away this way. You can bet your bottom dollar for that one. Because y'all too crooked, you too cold hearted, y'all uncaring, and you lie too doggone much for me. Y'all step up and make these promises that you know full well y'all not finna keep. And then when people go out and they rob, they steal, they do this, then you want to say, oh, you know, black people this. No, y'all push people to do what they do. Are some uh, live a life of crime? Yeah, they do. But the majority of people going to find a way to survive. If I need to feed my kids, I'm going to the grocery store and I don't have no money. I'm going to the grocery store and steal a meal for my child. Do y'all understand that? You don't get it. You don't get it. You don't get it. If I have to figure out should I pay rent or should I pay my car? No, which one would be more important? You don't get it. Y'all, again, y'all give money away and everybody else get benefits and perks except for the people who live on this soil. That's all I'm saying. Y'all need to think about some things because what y'all doing, I'm telling you, be careful. God is tired. Understand me when I say and he ain't going to keep dealing with this for a long time. Misusing people because that's what y'all doing. You're misusing people. You're misusing them. Y'all making y'all own self gods. And that's not your position. Your position is to represent the people. You are the voice of the people. And instead of you all being the voice of the people, you being the voice for yourself or these other organizations who uh, put money in your pockets or drop money into your campaigns. That's who you take care of first. Y'all don't give a damn about the citizens of the United States. You take care of everybody else's country except for home. We got more homeless people, more abandoned buildings, more people that's unemployed and everything else. But yet still you go to somebody else's soil and make sure they're okay before you make sure you take care of home. The songs say clean around your own front door before you try to clean around somebody else's. So don't pat none of y'all selves on the back because you're not doing what you should do. We should not even be in the conditions that we're in. We're not. And y'all think it's all about a mask, not when, no, this is a God thing. And when you understand the gist of that, you'll be okay. Until then, we're going to keep suffering the way we're suffering. Because y'all don't get it. Y'all don't get it whatsoever. All right. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Until we talk again.